We are going to discuss on combination reactions. So what is combination reaction? You can take an example. You prepare tea. To prepare tea, you need water, you need sugar, tea powder and milk you need. Four components you are adding together and you are getting one product that is tea. Similarly, here also, two or more chemicals you add, you react two or more chemicals to get one product, which is known as combination reactions. As the name indicates, two or more chemicals combine together to form a product. We will see an example here, like calcium oxide, which is in solid state. It is known as cuclein. Cuclein. Calcium oxide. When we are adding water droppers to calcium oxide, H2O, we get calcium hydroxide, CaOH twice, which is in aqueous form. Aqueous in the sense, calcium hydroxide dissolved in water. We have not separated that water contained from that calcium hydroxide. So aqueous calcium hydroxide we are getting. So what is happening here? We are adding water to calcium oxide and we are getting calcium hydroxide which is known as slaked lime. So, chemical reaction has happened by the combination of two reactants. It can be more than two as I indicated at the beginning of this video. It can be more than two also. So, here two reactants combine together form to get a product which is known as calcium hydroxide. We will take another example. 2H2 hydrogen in the gaseous form combined with oxygen which is also in the gaseous form in order to give H2O to molecules of water. This is another example for combination reactions. So both these reactions indicate that two reactant molecules combine together to produce a product to give a product that is known as combination reactions. We will see few more examples for combination reactions here. Check out these examples for the combination reactions here. Hydrogen and chlorine combines together form hydrogen chloride. Similarly, ammonia and hydrochloric acid combine together to form ammonium chloride. Sulfur and oxygen combine together to form sulfur dioxide. Magnesium oxide and carbon dioxide combine together to form magnesium carbonate. Carbon burns in the presence of oxygen to form carbon dioxide. Sulfur dioxide combines with oxygen to produce sulfur trioxide and nitrogen and hydrogen combines together to form ammonia. These are some additional examples for the combination reactions. So hope you understood what you mean by combination reactions and these examples you can remember for your examinations also. You can comment your doubt in the comment box. Thank you. Thank you.